Astrophil and Stella, 39, by Sir Philip Sidney. Come sleep, O oh sleep, the certain knot of peace. 1554 to 1586. Come sleep, O oh sleep, the certain knot of peace. The baiting place of wit, the balm of woe, the poor man's wealth, the prisoner's release, the indifferent judge between the high and low. With shield of proof, shield me from out the prees of those fierce darts despair at me doth throw. O oh, make in me those civil wars to cease. I will good tribute pay if thou do so. Take thou of me smooth pillows, sweetest bed, a chamber deaf to noise and blind to light, a rosy garland and a weary head. And if these things, as being thine by right, move not thy heavy grace, thou shalt in me, livelier than elsewhere, Stella's image see. Okay, this is a sonnet by Sir Philip Sidney. Let's see, Philip Sidney was a a leading figure of the Elizabethan age. He was an important courtier of Queen Elizabeth I. Um, he was a poet, uh, he was a, a soldier. Um, let's see, I think he, uh, um, he, he was v certainly well known. He came from Kent um, and I think he went to uh, Shrewsbury School and then to Christ Church College, Oxford. Um, I think he was la he he later uh, died of uh, his wo wounds suffered in battle. So this is part of his Astrophil and Stella series. Um, Astrophil and Stella is a set of sonnets about Astrophil, uh, a guy who's um, desperately in love with Stella, but this. Marriage, this uh, relationship cannot be because Stella's married to another man. So it's a series of sonnets about an impossible love or a love that ca can never be. And this particular one is talking about sleep. He's, um, Astrophil is begging for sleep because he's in love with Stella and it keeps him awake at night and he, he just can't think straight um, because, because of his love for her. Come sleep, O oh sleep the certain knot of peace. So the sleep, please come to me, um, the knot of peace. A knot is like a small, uh, a small garden, um, a flower bed, the flower bed of peace, the bed of peace. The baiting place of wit. So a baiting place is a an inn, a place to stay for the night, and um, I think this this is perhaps where you might argue with the other people in the inn or talk to them about different things. But ultimately, it's a place where you rest and your wit, your intelligence, your mind increases. The balm of woe. So sleep is the balm of woe, the cure for sadness. If you're sad about something, while you're asleep, you forget it. The poor man's wealth. So the rich, the richness of somebody who has no money. The prisoner's release. So sleep lets a prisoner free. Yeah, if you're a prisoner in a cell, even if, you, if you're asleep, then you are no longer in that cell. You are free. The indifferent judge between the high and low. So sleep is something that happens to everybody. Yeah, to the most important, to the least important. We all sleep. With shield of proof, shield me from out the prees of those fierce darts despair doth throw, at me doth throw. So the prees is the press, the problem. And sleep, shield me from the darts, the, 
the arrows that Cupid fires at me, shield me from the, the, the oppressing feeling of love coming from these darts that um, Cupid is firing at me. Um, take me away from them. Let me rest for a bit. Oh, make in me those civil wars to cease. So it's like there is a civil war inside him. He's desperately in love with her, but she's married. And this is a, a, a civil war inside him. And he can't go to sleep. I will good tribute pay if thou do so. I will pay. I'll pay good money. I'll pay money to, um, to sleep. But just let me sleep. Please let me sleep. Take thou of me smooth pillows, sweetest bed, a chamber de deaf to noise and blind to light, a rosy garland and a weary head. So sleep, sleep, look, I can provide smooth pillows. I can su provide a sweet, a lovely bed, a chamber deaf to noise, a, pl a, 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 a bedroom that's not noisy and blind to light and there are curtains to keep out the light a rosy garland so a garland of flowers for my hair i think this is more metaphorical and a weary head and a tired head i can give you all of these things all of these things are going to help help uh, help me help me me sleep so take all of these things sleep these are all going to make it easier and if these things as being thine by right, move not thou heavy that thy heavy grace. Thou shalt in me livelier than elsewhere, Stella's image see. And if these and if all of these things um, move, uh, move you, uh, mean that you you will let me go to sleep, then. I will let you see the image of Stella. I promise to dream of Stella. Yeah, I will dream of Stella. You will see Stella in my dreams and she will be more alive than elsewhere. And this is almost the ultimate irony because he can't sleep because he's thinking of Stella, but she will still be there in his dreams when, when, when he sleeps. So enough. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you soon. Bye for now. Astrophil and Stella, 39, by Sir Philip Sidney.